It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Cleveland Browns and the Washington Commanders. And it's all up next. Just outside of the nation's capital and nearby Landover, Maryland, we're getting a look at the enormous Commanders field. Joined by a former NFL quarterback, I'll be in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, I'm going to be looking at you because I know you have quite the big honor in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right over them for big yardage and maybe six points too. Jaden Daniels. Well, here he comes. Here comes the Heisman Trophy winner from a season ago, and what a show he put on, man. He was a stat stuffer. Over 1,100 yards rushing, looked a lot like Lamar Jackson did back in the day in college. And oh, by the way, 40 touchdowns passing, too. You know why this Washington organization took him so high in this draft. They want him to be Lamar Jackson. They want him to be dynamic, and he's going to get his career off and running. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable and creates space to take that shot downfield. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Takes off right out of the read option. First carry now for Austin Eckler. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. That's a run that you'll take the result in the NFL every time. A nice play, a solid game, but it's also a run that you know and you may come back to because if you were that close to breaking off an explosive one, you really break the backs of the defense. They're trying an option play. Left side on first down. And they'll bring him down after a pretty short game. Just a gain of one, and that brings up second and nine. It may not show up as much on the old stat sheet, just a short little QB run, but what that does, Kate, is so important. Keeps that defense honest, and in particular, those defense alignment, those cleats in the ground, they're not just coming after you in the pocket. Now they've got to think about you as a runner as well. Got a man. McCaffrey has it. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. I wish everybody had the opportunity to feel how fast that decision is made. With that RPO, it is a split second. And when you make the incorrect read, well, the play's busted up before it ever has a chance to start. Daniels throwing on third. We had a throw on for the great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. I think that was a throw, Kate, that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. Commanders punching on fourth down, and they're going to bring out the ever-reliable lefty Vets, Tressway. Brings it in at the 12, and they bring him down to put a stop to that return. So here come the Browns on offense, ready for their opening drive. And we let out by a guy coming off a pair of shortened seasons. The former Pro Bowler now in his eighth year, Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson's time here in Cleveland. It's been a bit of a bumpy road, just not been available, not on the field for his Cleveland Brown teammates. And remember, this organization made a hefty investment in him, more guaranteed money than any player in the history of the NFL. If he stays on the field, if he's able to be durable and reliable, he could finally make that return on investment for the Browns. Watson on first and ten. Moore's got it! And that's good yardage there with a new 
set of downs to boot. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and ten. From the gun, Watson. That's complete, David Njoku. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. Give him 13 on that play. And that's good for a Cleveland first down. As a quarterback, when you throw that curl right, you know it's a tight window, Kate. But the minute that DB turns and can't react to the throw, you put it right on your receiver's numbers. He comes back and gets it and moves the sticks. First and ten. Here's Watson. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's taken down directly on that 43-yard line. That's 16 on the pickup. And that gives the Browns a first. Good offenses. Okay, good play callers know how to utilize their personnel. They know where they wanted him. They wanted him in a route in space where he could make that initial play comfortably and then go to work after. Let's see how they attack this first down run from the 43. Well, it looks like the defense got a little too excited there. That's going to be a penalty. Broke the plane before the snap, and that's going to give the offense some free yardage. So they'll only need five now after that neutral zone infraction penalty. They're running the option, short side, and they've got him behind the line for a big loss. An offensive line and that O line coach got to look at those pictures and figure something out. Because you cannot let a defensive tackle defeat your block at the point of attack, or you're going to get a negative run time after time. Here's Jerome Ford for the first time this game. And they make the stop. We're going to say it about the 37-yard line. It'll be a gain of five. They still need four on third down. You make that call to just give yourself a fighting chance on third down, Kate. Take at least a little bite of the big meal between them and the first down marker. And that, that should make this upcoming call a little less daunting. Third and short, it's Watson. It's tipped away and it's going to hit the ground incomplete. Defender winning that rep. That brings up fourth down. Perhaps a bit late breaking towards the ball, but still just enough time to get a finger on it and knock it away. So the Browns are going to kick the field goal on fourth down. Dustin Hopkins on for the attempt. From the left hash, 54 yards out. And this one had a brief chance, but not a good kick in the end. He misses it. And we continue to await our opening score this ball game. Well, once you get out beyond 50 yards, everything in the process has got to be perfect. It's a good effort, but it's going to wind up off the mark. Here comes the Washington offense out to the field, ready for their second drive. And they're certainly hoping for some better results here after that first drive ended in a punt. Commanders starting out in a good spot this drive as they get set, first and ten. From the gun, it's Daniels. Completed here to McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down, but not until he reaches that 45-yard line. They come through with a nice skin, a 10, and a first down. It takes a certain level of fearlessness, craziness, to work over the middle of the field in this league. You're fighting through guys as you go, and all the while you know you could take a lick at any time. On first down, here's Daniels. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. Looked like a bit of a concentration drop on that one. So it's second down coming up. True story, Kate. After practice one time, the head coach in the NFL said, I'm done with my fault. I'm done with my bat. No more of that tapping on your chest. That was an example of the quarterback delivering a perfect pass. And the receiver, do your job. It's cut Eckler. And he's taken down at the 30. 16 yards on the play. And that'll be good for a Washington first. 
This running back is a mismatch maker. <laughs> That's how I label him on my little sheet right here. Right under his bio, this guy just creates matchup nightmares for every defender on the field. First and ten now. Here's Daniels. This ball is caught by McCaffrey. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's enough for a first down. Nice find by the rookie quarterback from LSU. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. An early jump and the flags come in. I think this is going to go against the defense. Thought he had the timing down and could make the play, but just a hair too early. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Oh, look at this. Quick touch pass to the receiver. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. We well, call that play to surprise the defense, try to get to the goal line. But a quick adjustment by the defense, well, kept him in position to make the stop and ruin that play. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. Now the shotgun gives to Eckler. And he'll go down shy of the end zone. They mark him at the four. Well, you haven't given up the goal line yet, but this offense is moving closer and closer. Now might be the time defensively to get a little more aggressive, try to stick them with the loss and make a difficult fourth down decision. So now here's third and goal. Shotgun snap to Daniels. He's got it. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. Those little short throws, they are high percentage and certainly bread and butter but they really run the risk of a quick tackle just like that and being stopped short of the sticks. Now on comes Austin Seibert for the field goal. Angling this one in from the right hash to challenge here. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that's going to get them on the scoreboard. Well, I know once that drive stalls out, that's where it really pays to have that reliable kicker on the sideline ready to bail you out. And he knocks that one right through to give him the lead. It's all lined up. Seibert now ready to send this fly. On the return, it's James Prochet. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. Onto the field comes the Browns' offense for the second time. They can only set up a lengthy field goal attempt, their last possession, Bronx. So some room to improve in how far they can advance the football here. Ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Throwing is Watson. Short pass caught by his tight end. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. That one goes for 25 yards. And that's good for a Cleveland first down. So many cool fundamentals on display right there, Kate. Look the ball in your hands, number one. Don't turn your eyes away from it before it gets to you. And then when you've got that cap secured, snap that head forward and find that space upfield to a good play into a great play. That's an 11-yard kickoff, and it gives them the first down. Reset ball at the 37. Ford running to the right. And they take him down, but there's a flag on the play. Now 
Easy call for the officials there. He was off signs at the snap, and that's going to cost him. A bit jumpy across the way there, and that halves the distance ahead of him on first down. Out of the gun, here's Watson. Brought in by four. And he couldn't quite get the edge. She goes out of bounds and maybe gets back to the line. Defense all over that throw. You could just smell it. They just smelled that football coming their way, and that's as good as an incompletion. And they're going to be in a good spot. Second down coming up. Watson now off play action. And this one's dropped for what would have been a nice game. Man, with how hard it is, Kate, to get these plays down the field, can't let the coverage off the hook with a drop. Just can't happen. But you're going to see it right here. He saw the open space ahead of him and started running before he ever brought the ball fully in. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Sticking to the air with Watson. He has it at the five. And that play is brought to a halt, they are going to say, at the five-yard line. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets them up with first and goal. If they get a handful of these types of plays per game, the pass game coordinator is going to be one happy camper. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. From the gun, it's four. And a couple of teammates combining there for the stop after just one yard. Hey, I get it on first and goal, right? A lot of teams like to be conservative and, and limit risk. Even if a run is stopped short, you still got two, sometimes three downs to play with. It's second and goal. It's a gain of three. That leaves him only a yard shy on third and goal. Well, you get a little bit closer, but you can feel the pressure starting to mount. Unless you're committed to playing four downs here, this becomes a critical third down call. Only a solitary field goal so far as we're through one quarter. Just a field goal separates these two. We'll return to Landover right after this. Ready to go with the second quarter. And it's the Browns with it inside the red zone. Watson has it, third and goal. And he will score. It's a Cleveland touchdown. The Browns take a second quarter lead. All right, partner, what do you think? Was that a design read, or did he just see space and he was reacting more on the old quarterback instinct there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think yes on both of them. And that play happens so fast that it really is instincts on both sides. On comes Dustin Hopkins to try the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. has it on the tee and is ready to send it flying. Return coming from the six. No follow him up as he gets the return to the 30. Washington ready to go on offense as they take the field. And the last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal despite advancing the football pretty well. First and ten now from the 30. Yeah. 
Drive begins with a run. It's Robinson. In the middle holes. They don't get anything on the run. No gain there that time, and it's second and ten. Big man up front said, not in my house. Let me tell you, Kate, once you're in the grasp of one of those big old fellas on the D-line, you're done. They would say it on the East Coast like this. It's over. Over. Daniels from the pistol. To the sideline, and it is caught. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. This one goes for an even 25 yards. And the Commanders will have a first. That's just a gorgeous corner route by the wide receiver. I bet you'll find, Kate, in the annals of football history, the best corner route runners as receivers, but also the best slant runners, the best post runners, because it's all about change of direction, and that was put on display right there. Daniels on first down. It's a gain of 17 on that one. And that'll be good for a Washington first. Well, that one was drawn up and delivered beautifully, efficiently. If it's not circled on the call sheet already, you better believe it is now. Out of the gun, Daniels. Got a man, McCaffrey has it. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. It's a 23-yard pickup on the play. And that will set up first and goal. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. Again, Daniels to the air. He's got it. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. From the gun. It pushing for the end zone. And it the football. It's not close. And this is going to stay with the offense as he makes the recovery. He manages a couple, and they are right on the verge of it. Third and goal from the one. Ooh, let's give him a second there. Give him a sec. I'm going to imagine his heart's probably going, what, 150, 160 beats per minute right now, Brock, after nearly losing that fumble. Yeah, and one. And he will score. It's a Washington touchdown. The Commanders take a second quarter lead. Terry McLaurin with the touchdown. They were throwing for it there, and they didn't care who knew about it, Brock. And it turns out, hey, nothing was going to stop them either. Yeah, there's something about an empty formation. You are declaring to a defense, other than QB draw, this ball is going to be in the air. But at the same time, you also force the defense's hand. There's only so many coverages they can play, and they just exposed them. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. It's all lined up. Seibert now ready to send this fly. Here's a return from the seven. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Following the kick return, we've got somebody shaking up. So we're going to get a stoppage here as he's attended to. Set, first and ten. Working from the gun, Watson. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free, incomplete. You know, he's not going to be happy the catch is almost made, but he's going to be thrilled that he broke it up. 
gives him a chance to do a little jawing after the play. Let that other guy know. He just roughed him up and lost a big catch. Give up the middle to Thor. And he found some running room for a nice game. Seven yards on the carry. Now they've got third and three. That does not show up on any explosive stat sheet. But let me tell you, Kate, that's the real deal right there. You run for that kind of yardage consistently in the NFL, you do set yourself up for success. From the gun, Watson. He has the first over the middle. And he'll push this upfield and earn that when you set it down. You know, kid, over the years, I've heard defensive coordinators say, hey, you got to earn the right to rush your passer. you got to earn the right for me to call blitzes. And when you call a blitz and you don't get home and you don't hit the quarterback, you've earned nothing. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Watson. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. Benjamin St. Cheers picks it up. Coaches just love that effort right there. Instantly, as he made the pick, everybody was looking for a block and doing their part to set up the return. And I know it pales in comparison to giving up the turnover, but how about the effort on the other side to track him down and stop a potential pick six? I think everybody deserves a little credit on the field for that effort. The Commanders and QB Jaden Daniels headed out for their next look on offense. And they're coming off an excellent series throwing the football that led to that touchdown, Brock. So you and I both expecting that defense to be looking for that on this series. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Shotgun handoff now to Eckler. And he drives this forward to the six. About four yards on that carry. It's going to be second down for him. You know, that's a good run right there. Keep the offense on schedule. If he can average that type of yards per carry, this guy's going to be more than all right with letting him lead the show. Second and six coming up here. Shotgun snap again to Robinson. And he pushes them a little closer to the three. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them... Well, they're just destined to end in a minimal gain, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. They'll motion a tight end left. Third and short, Daniels. The Browns close in and take him down. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. That right there, Kate, that right there has all the armchair quarterbacks going. Why didn't you run it? Because you take a risk when you throw it. And if you take a sack, well, now you got to kick the field goal. If you would have pounded the football, got a little bit closer, you at least give yourself a decision on fourth. I don't think you do now. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that'll double their lead to six. That's why they spend all the time on the practice field during the week. That kind of operation. Perfect rhythm, perfect timing, and a two for two for this kicker. Third and six. It's all lined up. Seibert now ready to send this fly. Has this at the six. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. The Browns getting their offense out there. And coming off the interception, a good chance to reestablish some momentum as they get set. Straight ahead. 
And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. Now, don't think for a second they're going to slow down the tempo. Defense on their heels. And right now is the best chance to push that envelope and get aggressive. Markers reset. Ball at the 37. Going option. Headed left on this first down. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. Well, there's going to be a missed assignment on somebody's grade sheet tomorrow. That read option game with the quarterback, there is always a defender that's responsible for the QB. That time, QB takes advantage. Let's see what they want to do here, partner. It's second and inches. Running left. Here's four. And he stopped. Now we wait to hear what this flag is all about. A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. They'll run here following the penalty. And nothing doing on that run. Defenders bottle it up quickly. No gain on that one, and now it's third and eight. Job one of so many D tackles in this league is eat up space. Don't get moved off your spot. But the difference makers, they just not only eat the space, they eat those runners too. Throwing on third down, Watson. So no mistaking that play call, Brock. They send nope. everybody on deep goes, and it winds up paying off. What a play. And you'd think on the other side, defensively, they'd be ready for this. But this is truly a breakdown in the secondary. Mm -hmm. They're just not able to make a play on the ball in the air. And the end result, as you said, a big play and a touchdown. Is Hopkins for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll take the lead. Hopkins has it on the tee and is ready to send it flying. His return starts at the five. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The commander is set to take over. And they settled for a chip shot field goal last time, Brock. You gotta think they want to be able to finish it off and reach the end zone here. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Robinson on the inside give. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels. Great start to the drive. They're up in the neighborhood of midfield after just one play. From the gun, it's Daniels. He's on the move. Oh, he was on the move, but so is the defense, and they take him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down, coming up. In theory, Kate, that's exactly what complimentary man coverage is supposed to look like. The DBs, well, they're sticky on the back end of it. The front end, that pass rush, it makes an impact. It gets home. But, of course, we know it's not that simple. It is really tough to lock down a full field for more than a second or two. On second down, Robinson. 
And as they bring him down, let's check the penalty flag. So now, partner, got to reevaluate what to do on this next snap because the holding call pushes him back quite a ways. Here we go, second and very long. He'll get this one to Brown. He's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. We've hit the two-minute warning now from the nation's capital. The Commanders at a deficit. Third down give to Robinson. And he's not going to get much. A modest gay at best to the 41. The Browns take the first of their three timeouts. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Press way on to punt. And this is the second time he's been brought on to kick it. At 44 yards on his first kick, Brock, and this one looks to be longer. Secures this at the 17. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. Officially a 55-yard launch. And the Browns will go on offense. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. A big play, 23 yards to move those chains. Well, that's a gain that has its roots in preparation during the week. That's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday kind of stuff. Identifying ways to target the coverage and creating opportunities for big completions. A jolt to start that drive. They're up near the 45-yard line. Watson on first and ten. Finding Judy. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. From the 48. Rifles it, and it's on the money on the slant. And he works this to the 38 before going down. Give him nine on that play, and it's enough for the first. Good luck defending that short yardage slant. Just not going to happen. There's a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. And he set it down for him at the 38. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Defender's not going to be thrilled the catch was almost made on his watch, but more importantly, he breaks it up. Gives him a chance to do a little giant after the play. Let's the other guy know he roughed him up and cost him that catch. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Back to the air, Watson. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. And he's brought down at about that 27-yard line. Timeout taken by the offense. They're second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. They'll come up first and ten. Out of the gun, here's Watson. And the commanders get home, they drop in. And the big play drives them backwards, second down, coming up. And look at that. All that effort and success from the previous play, it is gone. Credit to this defense who snapped and clear. That's part of this game. You've got to snap and clear. Give up a big play, come back and make a big one for yourself. And they do get home with that side. Just before halftime, we get a time now. Take it.
Dustin Hopkins is going to try this Browns field goal. This a 52-yard attempt from the left hash. Distance is good, but not the accuracy. He just missed it left. But I do see a flag out there. Let's see what the call is. A fortunate break for them as they get a gift with roughing the kicker. Their offense heading back out to keep things going. Only time left for one more snap, Brock, so they're going to run out their field goal unit. From the left hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. So that's halftime here in this one. The Browns on the road, but currently in front. Now down the coast we go to Orlando, Florida in our studio there. Jonathan Coachman waiting by with the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Kate, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Both these teams ready for the fight ahead. We're ready to get back to it as well. And to do just that, we'll hand it back over to Kate and Brock. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. It's all lined up. Seibert now ready to send this fly. Starting from the five. And this drive will start inside the 25. The Browns and quarterback to Sean Watson gearing up for their next series. And this is some quality film review right here. Look at this. Couple of touchdowns. Good amount of yards, too. He's been moving them down the field like only he can. Putting together quite the game for himself in the process. in first and ten. He puts up air on the end. Trying to flip that one in and the defender's there for the interception. Quark Martin with the pick. And the Commanders put together a wonderful return. Gets him back inside the 40 following the interception. You know what this is, Kate? This is the practice field coming to life. Really on both sides of the ball. Well, you watch defensive coaches preach all the time when they work on these returns to get to the near sideline, everybody to get a block, and then for those offensive players to show the effort to go chase that down so it's not a pick six. Yeah, it stinks for the offense, but that was the practice field coming to life for everybody to see. Set it down for him at the 38. First and 10, a runner Robinson. And he 
He won't get anything there. Several defenders nearby to hold him up. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. So close to a big loss of yards for those guys up front. One second sooner, and they got a tackle behind the line. But a stop to celebrate nonetheless. This one taken in by Zacchaeus. And they take him down right along the 30. I really like the timing of that screen call to the perimeter. Get the ball in space to operate and turns into a nice game. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. Here's Robinson up the middle. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. If only this defense could look like that on every play, Kate. They were angry, motivated, focused. And they took that anger out on him and this offense forcing a fourth down. For the third time today, we see them setting up for a field goal. Ball spotted on the left hash, 49 yards out. And he missed it. It's no good. And this will remain a four-point game. Well, there's certainly never, ever a guarantee from that distance, but that's one you'd expect to be in your kicker's range. You hate to have a drive come away with nothing, but that's exactly what happened. The Browns are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. The Browns, nice field position here as they start out first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception. He's looking to throw. And oh, he drops it. He had all the space in the world. Brock, he got behind the defense. And he just looked away before he brought it in. A big missed opportunity. You know, he might complete 99 out of 100 of those short, simple routes to the tight ends. Even the shortest and simplest of throws... Well, it's due to end up in a drop at some point. Second down. Watson throwing again. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Sure nice to see them looking for their tight ends in the passing game. Such great size to have out there. It really forces defenses to try to find a way to defend them along with everybody else. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. Play action, it's Watson. Caught on the left side. And he's going to be blocked down after reaching the 43. The goal of running that drag route is to get it to him for at least a minimal gain with space to add after that. But picked up a good jump, and there was nearly room to add even more. Second and three now. And he's brought down for a loss. I know they say at any time he comes up in an interview, but they appreciate having him on this defense so much, Kate, because of plays like that one. Those are great instincts. It takes instincts and want to to come up and win support. And not many corners can make that stop. Chance to have the chains here on third and four. Looking from the gun. What's it? see his eyes from the proof. He was envisioning the return and simply dropped it. You've got to secure the pick before anything else. The Browns looking to punt on fourth down, so on comes their southpaw. Corey Bohorquez to handle it. Now this is a beauty of a kick. Gets headed out of bounds. No chance at a return or a touchback. They're going to mark it out at the six. The Washington offense getting set for its next possession. They left a few on the table there last time out, Bronx, selling for a field goal, trying to miss the mark. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Shotgun snap to Daniels. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's able to get it to the 21 as he goes down. 
The end result there, 15 yards and a first. You want to become a quarterback's best friend? Do that. Turn a short little gain, a short little pass into some yards after catch, and that quarterback will find you again. And they've got themselves another first and ten. Out of the gun, Daniels. Completed here to McCaffrey. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Here's a give to Robinson. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. That right there, that will make the coaches happy. He didn't just get the first down, but got a healthy chunk of bonus yards afterwards. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Throwing now, Daniels. Got his target, Zacchaeus. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. The goal of that little drag route is to get him for at least a minimal gain with space to add after that. That picked up a good chunk, and it was nearly a big play. Second and three now. This is Robinson. And he's able to get this down to the 36. 12 yards on that play, and a good call, and that's in the first. Ooh, I like that. I really like that execution to move the chains. Now that third down call that they had ready, well, they can stick it right back in the pocket for a later occasion. First down, ball at the 36. This set it down, stop. The lateral goes haywire, fumble! And the fumble recovery is made! You know what, everybody on the field is going to make mistakes. The key is to clean that up as quickly as he can. Ball carrier loses possession, but he doesn't panic and lose composure. Instead, well, he hops on the ball and he saves the day. Offense to the line for second down. He's caught behind the line for a loss. This coordinator tried to show some trust and belief in his offense. A run after a negative run? Well, you lose a lot of equity and belief in that coordinator. I don't think he's going to try a third run after back-to-back -back negative losses. So not an enviable spot here as they come up on third and very long. From the gun, it's Daniels. Escapes the pocket. Oh, he's going to run for it. Puts together a quality game here before sliding to a stop. You know, Kate, back in the day, we had a slip and slide to practice for moments just like that. Actually practicing how to slide and get out of harm's way. Nice gain on the play. And denied that defense yet another chance to take a shot on him. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that cuts the lead back down to a lower point. Listen, all he could do is make the kicks he's called out there to make. They need extra points from him, but for now, if he's able to handle his third field goal of the game and just inch them a little bit closer. Things trim back down to a single point, Brock, as they send this off and away. Return coming from the six. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. Now we see the Browns offense headed out. They didn't add to their lead last time out, so they punched it away, but still ahead and able to add to it here. Drive starts out with a first and ten. 
Watson now. Got a man. It's Njoku. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. That can be a hopeless feeling when you fire a curl route right into zone coverage perfectly like that. Unless that curl happens to be right next to where one of your guys is sitting, that pass can come in there and there's nothing this defense can do. Shotgun snap will get to four. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to kick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. All right, here we go. Second down. From the gun, Watson. Fires over the middle, caught. And it's good yardage, but they tackle him short of the sticks. I feel so bad. I really do. And I don't mean this sarcastically, Kate. <laughs> I feel bad for these guys in coverage. I don't know how you defend some of these players today. Because they get that drag route, they get one step inside of you, and well, there's very little you can do other than make the tackle. Third and short, it's Watson. Heads out of bounds. It's plays like that, Kate, right wrong. Do I sit and judge defense? I judge the awareness. I judge how well that coordinator's got him equipped to see what's going on in the field. Not just see it, but attack it. And they devoured that screen game on third down. The Browns are lined up to punt. And oh, just a hair too much on that kick. The punt lands in the end zone. This one's coming out to the 20. The Commanders and Brian Robinson Jr. running back on now. And they brought out their kicker for a field goal, their last possession. It's time they'll look to bring him out for an extra point instead. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. stops him after a solid game. Give him five on that carry. Bring it up second and five. That run's not going to turn many heads, but at the end of the year, I promise you, if you average over five yards a run, you can be a pro bowler. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Now the shotgun give to Eckler. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Give him four yards there, and they only need one more now. You know, these are the kind of runs, Kate, that a balanced game plan and a balanced offense is built on. It gets you good yardage, it sets up your play action, and it keeps that defense honest. We'll see what they come up with for third down in just a bit. We've reached the end of three. It's Commander's football, and they'll get to work coming into the quarter trailing. The Commanders ready for the punt. It'll be Tress Way doing the honors. His work begins at the 31. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. Nice kick there. It's a punt at 53 yards. And it's going to be their football coming up. field position here as they start out first and ten. Hands it to the receiver here in motion. Oh, look at this sweep. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. 
tried to mix in a little wide receiver carry and catch this defense on its heels. We've seen it work time and again and almost got there. Without that tackle, we could have seen a big gainer to give some credit to the defense where credit is due. From the gun, it's four. And he's short of the first after a mild gain. It's a four-yard pickup, and they need the same now here on third down. You just can't make it harder than it needs to be. Just get the catch first. Guarantee your yards, and then worry about escaping defenders after the catch. The Browns are lining up to punt. It'll be Corey Bajorquez doing the honors. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. That punt finishes as a 60-yard effort. And the commander's drive is going to start from deep on their own side of the field. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Now Daniels to throw. To the sideline. touchdown shows up on both their stat sheets because sometimes well it's quarterback who delivers and sometimes it's the effort after the catch that really makes the magic happen and now the commanders face a very important two-point attempt he's throwing for it and the two-point pass falls incomplete what a felt lead but they have to settle for five he knows he should have had that one but in the end it really doesn't matter he still did his job and denies that offense two more points It's all lined up. Seibert now ready to send this fly. Returning it from the four. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Browns headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And as we can see here, it hasn't been the easiest game for him to operate out there, right? Number of rough moments for him. This defense able to pick him off twice to highlight their performance against him. They're out and set, first and ten. position of the quarterback, Kate. Sometimes you hand that ball, you put it in the belly of the running back, and you send him right into the teeth of a buzzsaw. You can feel it from the jump, and that call from the defense, that came at the perfect time. Second and 12 behind the sticks. That call going against the offense. Four yards there, but still a lot of digging left. 
work to do. It's third and really long. And the gun, here's Watson. This quarterback's just feeling the need to do a little extra, try to make something happen outside the pocket. The problem? <laughs> Defense wouldn't let them. They have that same kind of urgency. They want to make some plays of their own before they hit the showers. And they got one right there with that sack. They're out now, ready to punch it. And after that drive, we backwards. He's going to send this one forward. And he makes the fair catch inside the 45. We don't get a return out of that punt. And the Commanders will go on offense. On the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Daniels. That's McLaurin on the quick slant. And he's got it up to midfield and into Brown's territory. Second and three now. Daniels back to throw on target to his man Zacchaeus. And he's going to get stopped right around the 45 yard line. That goes as a four yard pickup and it gets him a first down. To throw, Daniels. His ball's cut by McCaffrey. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They pick up 20 yards there. And the Commanders will have a first. Play fake here, Daniels. Got a man, McCaffrey has it. And they bring him down at the 18 yard line. Second and three now. Motion man left is Brown. From the gun, it's Robinson. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Third down, one yard to go. Trying to throw here out of the gun. Complete beyond the marker. He's tackled with the first down yardage. There's no route on the old proverbial rock tree cake that takes more trust than throwing an out route. You're throwing it to a spot and believing your guy can get there. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Ertz reels it in. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. A good RPO play, it takes a lot of time Proper decision-making from a calm, cool, collected offense. Oh, well, that one didn't have any of it. It's second and goal. Shotgun snap. We get to Robinson. 
And the defense gets there to force a small loss. This is one of those situations, Kate, where I watch the body language of the running back because it'd be very easy for him to raise his hands up, look to the sideline and his O-line and go, what am I supposed to do there? There was nothing, no time at all to try and escape and react. Instead, it goes backwards. He's back to throw. He brings it in. And he drives this forward to the six. Pursue, pursue, pursue. It's why they do these drills all the time, Kate. You do it through the offseason, do it through training camp, you do it in the regular season. Because when a defense plays with tremendous pursuit, you force fourth downs just as they did. So big kick coming up for Austin Seibert. High percentage look for him here from the left half. Flying down the heart of the lane, and it's good! And they're going to grow their lead late, but still a one-score ball game. As much as that can help them breathe just a little easier on the scoreboard, it doesn't take away now any of the tension this defense is feeling. They're going to need to step up, come through with a stop right here. It's all lined up. Seibert now ready to send this fly. He fields it from the eight. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. Back out now comes the Browns offense. And I'm sure they're tired of bringing out the punter, Brock. They're hopefully going to give him some rest this time around and find some points to go after that lead. all set to regain possession and they were able to contribute three points to the lead their last time out another chance to build on that advantage here while a new offense preps to head out we've got a stoppage they want to make sure this is a turnover all right so we all know what we're looking for here Brock. where did an elbow maybe a knee something touch down and as it does is the ball loose at that point yeah, throw in forearm, wrist, shin. <laughs> There's no question the offensive guy's screaming something hit the ground while the defense is hoping it didn't. So the review saves them a turnover. He was, in fact, already down when the ball came free. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Watson now, off play action. Brought in right side by Moore. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They get 22 on that one. And that gives the Browns a first. New set of downs for him at the 38. Here's Watson, first and 10. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he pushes this down to the 22-yard line. He finds him 16 yards and a new set of downs. We've hit the two-minute warning here in D.C. Browns trail by eight. To the line we go. They're set first and ten. Sticking to the air with Watson. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. That chunk worth a nice 21 yards. And now they have a first and goal. They give up the middle to four. And he's brought down for a loss. 
situational football. Looking at first and goal, these defenses know what's coming at them. More often than not, a run play. It really is better to throw the ball unless you've got a way to disguise the run, and there was no disguising on that one. Brown's fighting the clock now, trying to hurry back to that line. The shot to the end zone is incomplete. Just something off in the rhythm of the passing game on that one. Time to recalibrate and keep throwing it to get back in the rhythm. They've held out twice. Here we go. Third and goal. Now to throw. Oh, that looked like a kick for a second, but it hits the end zone grass. They are very fortunate to get this one back, but now they've got fourth down. That was it. That was their chance to escape this series. They were looking for a way out without giving up any points, and that was their ticket off the field. Unfortunately, they just couldn't quite hang on. Oh, straight ahead. And he takes it in for the touchdown. Down to their last breaths, and he gives them a shot now to force overtime. So there's part one, Brock. They get the touchdown that they desperately needed. Now, you'd imagine, comes a try for two. You know, Kate, this might be just as tough as that touchdown. I know they work all week on their two-point plays, but they're hard to execute. That yeah. being said, if they want to force overtime, this is a must. So now a big play coming from the Browns as they try for two. Throwing now. Their special teams can come through and get you that football back. And the sooner the better, too, because time is not their friend. They always have the onside kick to bail them out. But after that, it might be time for this D coordinator to creak up the aggression meter. And you know every one of these defenders will be attacking the ball. So everything comes down to this onside kick with less than a minute to go. And this is going to be covered up by the Commanders. That should just about lock up the win. And they'll get him down after he gets into the 48. Out comes the Commander offense for another series. And that two-point lead, it's still right there on the scoreboard, Brock, after their defense got off the field clean. And now, Kate, this offensive goal is to make sure that clock expires with that lead still in hand and them holding the ball. You absolutely do not want to give this ball back, knowing the other side still just needs a field goal. First and 10, ball set up at the 48. Putting one of the tight ends in motion right. A run here with Robinson. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Staying with Robinson. And just gets back to the line of scrimmage. Now a timeout's called. Cleveland using its second. And they'll have just one left to burn now. Defense looking to defend the marker on third down. Another carry for Robinson. And he rips off good yardage, but it will not move the chains. Now the Browns spend their final timeout. That's all they had, so the offense free to start running the clock down now. Punt team on the field. They could really use a good one here. This one's headed for the sideline and out. We'll get the mark. They say it's at the nine where it crossed. 
The visitors ready for their next series. Let out on offense by their quarterback. start out with a first and ten. Here he is to throw. That'll be complete to four. And they bring him down here at about the 13-yard line. Hurry up offense now as time runs down. that connect in this intermediate zone are so effective. Getting the completion in that area, it not just sparks your offense, but it just turns that aggressive meter way up. They just couldn't quite find the connection. Looking to throw it. So many of these games in the NFL where they come on with a play or two and third downs. Whether it's in a close game or already out of hands, the coach wants to see them convert those. Offense still staying out after the incompletion. They're going to try on four. One final shot here. And he's able to get it to the 21 as he goes down. So score this as a win for the Commanders. And there was no easy enough. It took some white knuckling until the very end, but their defense carried that small lead through to the finish line as they escape with a victory.